owner of three of Papa John's locations down in the Houston area, Judy Nichols, who's been dropping by before. Good morning to you, Judy. Good morning, Steve. Okay, Judy, uh, with Obamacare going forward, um, the way the, the law reads is if you've got 50 or more employees, you've got to spend $2,000 per employee to provide health care. How many employees do you have on your payroll, and now what are you going to have to do? Well, currently we have 51 full-time equivalents, and the basis year is 2013. So we have to manage down our staffing by four part-time or two full-time people um, over the 2013 year from the beginning to the end, or we qualify as big business and that minimum $40,000 tax and $2,000 per head. Yeah. Uh, we can't afford that. It's just pizza. <laughs> it is just pizza, but it's also business. And, uh, you know, it is it can be a very lucrative business. And I understand. And you've been on the program before talking about how you had recently purchased a plot of land to put another Papa John's on it. And where do those plans stand right now? Uh, they're they're terminated. We we had put it on hold, hoping that the government might revisit this issue so that we could grow and, and add 75 jobs. But they're not going to revisit it, and we just can't afford the tax that that growth would would come. We we're too small for that, but we'd be called big business. Yeah, we had a fellow on uh, last week, Zane Tankle, and he told us he he has a bunch of Applebee's here in the. New York City area. He said essentially that he's not going to be able to build more locations and because he can't hire any more people because Obamacare would just cost him too much money because then they'd have to either raise prices or or downsize. Is that kind of the same situation you're well, in? Well, yeah, the price of pizza has been ten dollars for a very, very long time, and we've had three or four minimum wage increases. This is basically a minimum wage increase. Commodities are up, diesel fuel's up, and it touches everything we do. Uh, my profit margins over the last 20 years have shrunk from 10 to 2%, and you just want to pay the bills every month right now to sure. heck with making money. Yeah, no kidding. And, I, I, and the thing about no Judy, money the, there for. The thing about uh, being in business, Judy, is the idea is you want to get bigger and bigger and have more locations. But now under this Obamacare thing, with the cutoff at 50, you can only go so far before you hit the ceiling. Indeed. And speaking of ceilings, you know, I, I wanted to go into business for myself so I wouldn't have ceilings put on me. In corporate America, I could only get promoted so far. And now I, I cannot grow. My daughter's 18 this year. She's left the house. I don't have to be a full-time mom anymore. I wanted to be a full-time career woman again. And I was so ready for growth. We were going to add 100 jobs this year with, with the new pizza restaurants and even some grocery stores. And there's just no money for it. I, I cannot pay my staff and pay all these taxes. It just There's only so much blood you can get out of a turnip. Yeah, there you go. And pizza's just 10 bucks, like you said. All right, uh, Judy Nichols. Well, yeah, and I don't understand why these folks want to keep boycotting companies that say, you know, this has an impact on the bottom line. If you're going to boycott every restaurant company that says the health care law has an impact on the lot, bottom line, be prepared to cook at home a lot because it's <laughs> affecting every restaurant. It certainly every is. Every restaurant that you eat at is impacted negatively by this by this law. Well, you're in the trenches Young kids every day. don't want to spend money on health care. Yeah, no. young kids want to spend money on a new car and they want to spend money on a new home or tuition. That's they don't want point. to spend money on health care. They don't need to. They're healthy. I know exactly what you mean. All right, uh, Judy Nichols, joining us today from Houston. Ma'am, thank you very much for sharing your story.